China's Tiangong-1 space station will crash back to Earth within weeks. Experts say it's impossible to plot where the module will re-enter the atmosphere, but the chance is higher in parts of Europe, US, Australia, and New Zealand. China's first prototype space station, literally named Heavenly Palace 1, as you may know, is slowly making its way back to Earth, but nobody exactly knows where or when it's going to enter the atmosphere. You see, on March 21st of 2016, the, the Tiangong 1 had officially ended its service, mostly because they had lost the uplink with it. Now that's got to be a little bit embarrassing. On March 25th, 2016, an official Chinese statement declared that telemetry services with the Tiangong-1 had ceased, whether intentionally or by some accident, they don't really say, but uh, amateur trackers have been tracking the forlorn station and they said that it's been out of control since about June 2016. Quoting from that official Chinese statement, the flight orbit of the space lab will descend gradually in the coming months, is under continued in close monitoring, and the orbiter will burn up in the atmosphere eventually. Eventually. In the latest statement, it was not mentioned whether the re-entry was to be targeted or remain uncontrolled, so yeah, we can pretty much assume that it's pretty much uncontrolled. Now, the business of predicting exactly where this thing is going to wind up is mostly a crapshoot. There are just too many factors at play to accurately predict where it might go. For example, there's factors like significant variation in the density of the atmosphere, significant uncertainties with the orientation of the spacecraft, uncertainties in the exact location and speed of the space station. And for those of you who can't speak engineer ease, what they're saying is it's basically equivalent to rolling dice or throwing darts. That's not stopping people from making guesses. It has been claimed that it could smash into the American state of Michigan, northern China, central Italy, northern Spain, Middle East, New Zealand, Tasmania, South Africa. Now, as if that wasn't scary enough, it's been claimed that the Tiangong-1 station has been packed full of a toxic and corrosive chemical named hydrazine. Hydrazine can give you cancer, so as you well imagine, people are freaking out. Toxic oh, Chinese, Chinese space station in death, death spiral, spiral could hit New Zealand. My God, it's coming right for us! So, enter Lauren Grush, a writer over at The Verge, who points out that humans are basically really bad at assessing risk. And I quote, Yes, the module is a bit bigger than most satellites that fall back to Earth, but the odds of any pieces falling on your head are minuscule. Less than the chances of you getting hit by lightning. In fact, some other writers are saying that it's equivalent to winning the Powerball lottery. Twice. But despite all of that information, people are still scared when you tell them the odds. Never tell me the odds. You see, it comes down to one very important fact of human nature, that... People love uncertainty, and people love to be scared. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, and I hope it comes down in my area, and I see it, and <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if it actually hit your house? Hey, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go uh, paint a target on my roof. 